let's continue with our types of poems. Epic. Now, this poem is written to show deeds of heroes. Uh, actually, before you become a hero, you must do something outstanding. They have something brave that will make people talk about you and you know admire you. Okay, so when you write a poem to show the deeds of heroes, to talk about the deeds of heroes, we we'll call that type of poem epic. It can be the deed of this man, David, when he killed uh, Goliath with a single stone. It can be the deeds of this man. This man is South Africa. It can be the deeds of this man, also Rashidi Yekini, the football legend. It can also be uh, Dr. Stella Dedevo, the woman who uh, made sure the Ebola case did not spread in Nigeria. So if you write a poem about the deeds of these heroes, we call that poem uh, epic. Okay, idyllic, idyllic poem or pastoral poem. If you look at this setting right now, see how peaceful, quiet, calm, you know? Now this type of poem, idyllic or pastoral, is written to show a peaceful life in a rural setting. Now you can see here there are no there's no traffic, there is no noise pollution, no air pollution, it's just calm, it's just peaceful. Okay? This setting, when you write poems about this uh, setting, peaceful, uh, showing peace, a peaceful life in a rural setting, we call that type of poem idyllic or pastoral poem. Epithalamia. Now, this type of poem is written in honor of the bride and groom. For example, if you have a, a, a couple getting married, you write a poem for, uh, for them, you can state that their union is divine and you just say, so make them feel that they're coming together is ordained by God, okay? So when you write a poem in honor of the bride and groom, we call that type of poem um, epithalamion. Prothalamion is a similar uh, poem, but this time it's a song for the wedding. So it's like when you write a song for the wedding, and you know, now this one is performed during the wedding, we call it prothalamion, just like elegy and dirge. Elegy is a poem for the dead, Why dirge is the song. So, Epithalamion is the poem in honor of the bride and groom. Prothalamion is the song for the wedding. Now, let's look at the last one for today. Romantic poem. Now, when people hear romantic poem, what comes to their mind is love. Yes, love is part of it, okay? But it's a poem about love and nature. Of course, love is natural. So, when you write poems about love and nature, we call uh, that type of poem romantic poem and one of the famous romantic poets is William Wordsworth. If you've seen the movie uh, The Three Idiots, his poem Daffodils was played at the very beginning. Okay, so when you write poems about love and nature, we call uh, those type of poems romantic poems. Thank you.